Hey Coda people, today I'm going to show you how to use the Coda webhook pack to trigger webhook automations within your docs easily and to do some really cool use cases with it such as archiving and creating an archive doc. So I'm going to show you how this works right here and then we're going to recreate it from scratch in the next five minutes. So here we have a list of students. These are Star Wars students signed up for some way cool lightsaber tricks. But let's say one of our students drops out of the course or is done with the course and we want to archive them to lower the size of our doc and keep our docs fast. I can use the archive pack or the webhook pack to archive that student. He's gone and you'll notice that he's now in a completely different doc with all of his information still present. Mm, I'll do one more to show you that that wasn't there before. Let's do uh, Boba Fett. So we're going to archive Boba Fett. He's now gone from this doc, but his data is still safe inside of our webhook pack. So here we go. Let's build this together. <laughs> All right, so let's uh, use the Coda webhook pack now to build an archive doc, and then I'll show you a couple more use cases for it afterwards. But here I go, I have my table. This is my table full of information, and I wanna create an archive doc and start archiving these rows and pushing them to another table. So uh, what we're gonna have to do first is we're gonna have to upload or insert the Coda webhook pack. You can do that using the insert over here and packs, and then you can search. But what I'm going to do, I always like the slash command. It's going to say slash and type in Coda webhook. Should come up like that. It has this little icon here. Once we do that, uh, you're going to push add to doc. And there you go. That's all you need to do right now. It might ask you to sign in with your Coda account, in which case you'll follow that as well. But once we have it inserted, now we need to create our archive document. So how I'm going to do that is I'm going to open a new tab, do Coda.new. That's a shortcut to create a new Coda doc in your account. Once that's done, you're going to say, we're going to call this the Star Wars Archive doc. Now, what I want to do is mimic this table, right? I want to mimic the columns. So what I'm going to do is copy this table, Command C. I'm going to head over to my doc and I'm going to paste it. I'm going to select paste options because I don't want these rows, right? These are the active rows. I just want the column headers. Shaboom. All right, so now I have a blank table that mimics what was in this first table. Now we need to use the um, Coda webhook automation to start archiving. So what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna catch it inside our archive doc. So I'm gonna create my automation here by going up to the cog wheel, automations, add rule, and we're gonna call this catch webhook and archive, right? So we're creating an automation that is gonna listen. It's kind of like a, a phone call, right? He's listening. He's like, whenever anyone calls me, I'm going to do something. The calling happens from this doc, right? We're going to press a button and that's essentially calling or pinging that other doc and say, Hey, here's some information. I want you to do something with it. So we're setting up the receiving end, um, with an automation catching that webhook. So it's going to be a webhook invoked. Um, and then we want this information here is what we're going to put into our other doc. So I'm going to go back here and I'm going to create a new button called trigger webhook. It's then going to be a column type. It's going to be a button and the button you're going to scroll to the bottom, go to packs, uh, code a webhook, trigger webhook, right? Now we need a URL and an auth token and a webhook body. So the URL is going to be um, this URL right here, copy. And we're going to paste that. The auth token, this is important or you will not be able to kind of run these automations in your doc. You're going to create an API token. You're going to see that code is going to automatically, token was created and copied to clipboard, so it's already copied. Head back to your doc, enter your auth token in. And then lastly, we're going to use webhook body to uh, essentially send the information, right? If you're doing a phone call, you always say something. This is essentially webhook body is what do we want to say? What information do we want to send to that other document? So what we're going to say is we're going to put equals and the code of webhook pack has a special one called webhook body, webhook body. All right. And now we're going to do key value pairs. Uh, what that means is we're essentially saying, Hey, I want to send some information and here is the information. So the information I want to send, I want to send the name and what is the name? Well, it's this row dot name, right? And then I also want to send my height. Uh, it does not matter what you put in these spaces. That doesn't have to match this column. You can put whatever you want. It just needs to be easy for you to remember um, how it corresponds to a column. So of course, I'm just using those uh, that are similar to the column names. And we'll just say height. 
Next, I want to send their mass, and I want to send it as mass. Next, I'm going to say home world. I'll show you that I can just put something different, right? I'll just put world, like where are they from, right? World, and then I want world to be home world. And lastly, species is going to be uh, species. Boom. All right, so now I have my webhook body. This is the information that is going to send with um, with my webhook when I trigger it. I'm going to take a picture of it uh, as a quick screenshot so that I can use this in my other doc. All right, that's all set up. But now we essentially need to set up the receiving end so that this can catch it correctly. Uh, what we're going to do now, I'm going to put it here, my little screenshot, because now I know what I'm looking for. I'm going to select an action. When I press that trigger webhook button, right? So when I press this button, what do I want to happen? I want to add a row to Star Wars character. And I'm going to set all these columns, right? Every single column. You can enter static values here, but we don't want that. What we want to do is we want to enter the values that come in through the webhook. So you're going to press your equals button to open up the formula. You're going to say step one result dot parse json there's a formula within coda called parse json this what we're sending right here webhook body is json so we're saying go look into the webhook body and i want you to find the specific part where it says name right that's it so we're saying for name i want you to set the name equals step on result dot parse json i want the height h-e-i-g-h-t Mass is equal to step one result dot parse JSON uh, mass. And then home world is equal to step one result dot parse JSON. And remember, I'm going for the key, so world. I'm putting what I want. What I want from it, I want the world key. Uh, species, lastly, step one result dot parse JSON is going to be species. All right, so now let's go test if this is gonna work. You have to turn it on. If you do not turn it on and press this button over here, um, it won't work. So let's turn it on and we'll check it out. Let's see what happens. Let's try to send R5D4. And sometimes, oh, one external action performed. That's what we wanna see. There he is, R5D4. How you doing, R5D4? All right, so now that is working, but he's still here. Let's do Big's Dark Lighter too. One external action performed. And there is Biggs, right? So now we're sending him over, which is phenomenal. But I want, since I'm archiving, to also erase this. So I'm gonna do one more thing here. Um, I'm going to change this button. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change this to a formula so I can edit it and do multiple things. So I'm gonna change it to a formula. And now what I'm gonna do is Command A, just copy all this stuff, and I'm gonna copy it, Command C, and erase. Now I'm going to use a formula called run actions. This basically says, hey, can you make this button do more than one thing at once? And Coda says, yes, I can. The actions we're going to run once is boop, what I just copied, right? My entire webhook formula. And then I do a comma. I can make this a little bit bigger for us. Um, right after that, notice my curly braces right here. It's saying that's the first one. What I want to do next, comma, I want to delete rows. And I want to delete this row. There you go. You can auto format that then to give you a little bit of more understanding of what's happening. But basically now your button says, hey, I'm going to do three things. I'm going to trigger webhook, send your data. And after I send it, I'm going to delete this row. So now let's try that again. Now let's try to send Anakin over. We should expect him to show up in here and to be deleted. So Anakin is gone and Anakin is here. All right. So that is how you use the Coda webhook pack to essentially set up an archiving system for yourself. I'm gonna quickly show you one more what thing you can do with it, one more idea, but I'm sure you guys will come up with so many more. Uh, this one is an example where you have a project management document. And these project management is, they have a lot of subtasks, right? Clean the house. Clean the house has all these tasks. Clean the bathroom, clean the kitchen. Each one of these has even more subtasks, right? Clean the bathroom has all these pieces. There's a lot of granular specific data. But let's say you have a manager or someone else that eventually you want them to see kind of just like a digest, a brief, like what happened in this project? I don't need to know all the granular details. Just tell me what happened. So what, this is gonna use the webhook pack in the same way and it's gonna show up in here in project briefs. Notice this is a project brief for to destroy the Death Star, so we'll do a different one. Let's go to clean the house. 
I'm going to use this button, can't send a manager while project is under 100% complete. So let's say, okay, well, my project is complete. Send project brief to manager. Shaboom. Opens up this, and now you can write your brief. Hey there, manager. I am sending you this brief. Now, this is the actual button that's going to ping that webhook. So I'm going to show you what it's doing real fast just to see that. Button options. Mm, here it is. See? Trigger webhook. It's using the webhook body in the same way. It's saying project, project, due date, due date. Um, it's even bringing over an image, which is phenomenal. And then let's see it happen in real life. I'm going to send this project to manager. Bum, bum, project brief sent. Let's go over here. And here you go. You got clean the house as a project brief for your manager, right? So the Coda webhook pack can be used for far more than just creating an archive doc. Um, there's so many different things you can do with it. Excited for you guys to see um, what you're going to do with it. All right. Adios.